Hello everyone, welcome to the Foxtech YouTube channel. This time we talk about the Apple Watch and a Siri on your Apple Watch. The question or the topic for today is how do you control the volume or how do you lower the volume of Siri responses on your Apple Watch? This may be something that you are interested in and I understand why, but at first we need to open up the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. It has to be the iPhone which is paired to your Apple Watch. And at first we need to make sure that the Siri is actually enabled because on the Apple Watch it may not be turned on while it can be functioning normally on your iPhone so it's not like connected in that way. So just make sure that it is turned on. I only have it for the digital crown long press so Siri will only be activated in that or with that gesture. Now the thing that we want to do in order to control the volume is tap on Siri responses. So again it is the watch app tap on a Siri and a Siri responses and at the bottom you have the voice volume. So this is basically the slider which lets you control how loud Siri actually is and how loud the responses are going to get. So I believe that you have to try it out. You don't have any preview of what it's going to sound like. You only have to like guess and try it out on the Apple Watch. So that's just how it works. But of course, if you keep it loud or like completely to the top then it's probably going to be the loudest that is available so yeah just keep that in mind by the way guys if you want to know everything about your iphone apps you have to click the link down below in the description it's a hundred percent free education platform where i publish like video editing courses there is going to be the all apps explained course which is coming up it's going to explain every single app on your iphone it's going to be really cool so go ahead and check out that link it's free to access so yeah go ahead and do that right now Keep in mind that you can also access the very same settings inside of the Apple Watch, so you can use the very same stuff, but on the Apple Watch you just open up the settings and you can see I am already inside, but you can get there through the series, so you can see settings, tap on a Siri, and if you scroll down to the bottom, tap on Siri responses, and here you can actually change it, and yeah, as, as you can tell, it is connected with the Apple Watch and the iPhone, so the same thing is happening on the screen of both of these devices in front of you, so you can see that it's really synced together properly. So it doesn't matter which settings you use, but you only have the option to do it that way. Now, if you want to test it out, as I said, make sure to get to ask Siri something, and you will hear if it's too loud or not. So yeah, Siri, tell me something. Yeah, so that was pretty loud, and if I put it like this, what's the weather like today in um, New York? You can hear that it's kind of quiet, so yeah, you have to find a sweet spot for you. Definitely something that works well for you, but that's about it. I just wanted to show you how you can change it up. That's everything what I wanted to show you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel so you don't miss future videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the future. Peace out until then.